The bad news is that, regardless of the outcomes of the Zugzwang with regard to Ukraine, that wealthy person is already included in the text of the legislative initiative of the United States as a person who is subject to sanctions. I am referring to Ruben Vardanyan. Ruben Vardanyan is on the list of people against whom the United States will impose very strict sanctions, including Putin, his circle, his wife and lover, and others. Can you imagine? Once again, they are including Armenia in something in which the president is also involved. And again, the United States is declaring it its enemy. Later, they will eat the brains of our nation and, at the behest of Russia, will lead the nation to shift of power by holding elections of village heads, regional governors and others through bribery. Afterwards, Armenians will start asking why the United States isn't making a phone call to tell the Turks and Azerbaijanis to withdraw their troops and to tell Russia to not do anything to the Armenian people because they are a nation with a history spanning millennia, are nice people and have a good culture, and the sons of their nation are people like Narekatsi. As soon as we Armenians have the ability to get rid of that absurd mindset, and each of us takes his or her step to get rid of that absurd mindset and start perceiving the real world, the world will look at us Armenians as a political nation with the state, not as a nation of people who live wherever they can work and put food on the table, as a nation of people who vote for those who will give them money and those who are wealthy, and as a nation of people for whom politics doesn't matter. Russia is taking advantage of this and is leading Armenia to perdition with that. <laughs> Bajan